Hey, how's it going? I want to share my experience with you of agonizing over which technology to learn. I found myself thinking, is this really the best use of my time right now? Am I even going to be using what I'm learning now further down the road? It's a horrible place to be in. They call it paralysis by analysis. It's where we're analysing the situation to the point where we're no longer taking action and if we are, we're not really enjoying it because we don't feel like we can fully commit to it. I found myself just thinking, you know, it's a feeling of having loads of passion but not knowing where, like how to channel it. A lot of the experts will say, just pick one. Just pick one, commit to it, get good at it. Because once you get good at it, then you'll be able to pick up other languages pretty quickly. But it's still, I found it still difficult to make a choice. I think the way I've dealt with it is to just take action because we don't have all the data and the best way to get clear is to just take action, move forwards. And that's how you find out who you are as a person. Uh, you can apply that to most things in life, I think. You just got to be, things in motion tend to stay in motion. But if you just freeze and you're not doing anything, then you're not gathering any new data. So I think the reason experience developers say that is because in the beginning it's important that we're picking up the fundamentals of object-oriented programming, the MVC framework. That kind of takes me into what I wanted to share with you. I moved from web development into iOS. I thought that I could learn everything. I thought I can do iOS and still progress as a front-end web developer and I found it impossible, next to impossible, trying to learn <laughs> Oh man, I was just stressing myself out and good luck to you if you're going to try and learn everything. I found it's much, much better just to focus on something. I did iOS for two years, but I'm not doing it now. I want to do React Native. I felt like I had a lot of web development skills that I wasn't able to leverage within the iOS ecosystem, so I'm much happier now that I'm learning JavaScript and React Native. I can, I can leverage all of those skills. Does that mean that I wasted two years of my life? No. I learned the basics of object-oriented programming, MVC, I uh, launched an app into the App Store. I proved to myself that if I commit to something, then there's nothing that I can't do. I think a lot of the times we don't know how what we're learning now is going to be useful further down the road. When I started off uh, as a freelancer, I was doing a lot of SEO, uh, UX and some design. I don't have to worry about the design now because I work with a designer, but it still comes in handy though when I do my own personal projects for clients. I have some design chops, so and because I've done some UX in the past, I can have an intelligent conversation with the client so that they kind of get that I know what I'm talking about to a degree. I'm by no means a UX expert, but I at least know the basics. Again, in the beginning, it's about learning the fundamentals. I wrote some, I remember I wrote some PHP on a website and then I didn't do PHP for six months. And then I had to come back to the project to update it. And I looked at what I'd written and I couldn't make any sense of it. But because I'd already covered a lot of the basics, it didn't take me all that long to get back up to speed again. I think in the beginning, you don't really, like don't agonize over memorizing syntax. It's just important that you know what tool to use and when. So it's knowing that certain methods exist and by knowing that you'll be able to pick up things quickly if you go away and have to come back. Look at yourself as a tech professional. You're a tech professional who solves problems and that's the overriding objective is to be a tech professional. I think it's actually quite difficult to not make a success of, regardless of the technology that, you, that you're using, as long as it's not something like Pascal, which is from decades ago. But if you're learning, you know, either Ruby, Python, PHP, JavaScript, you know, any of the main top 10 
languages right now, C Sharp, Java, whatever it is, I think you can make a success of it if you're passionate about it. That's the impression I get right now. I think most technologies spill over into other things. So on the horizon, for example, on the horizon we have the internet of things. I heard a guy talking about Node.js and he was convinced that Node.js is gonna be the foundation that's gonna link all of these technologies uh, together. So who knows how things will progress no doubt we'll most likely have to pivot at some point. But in terms of which technology should you be using, you can whittle it down. I made a video, uh, go check that out. You may find it useful. It's uh, about what I would learn this year and why. So that may help you to narrow it down. Anyhow, I hope you got something from that. I hope you've found at least a little bit of solace in that. I think it's something that we all go through right now. We've got so much choice. It's the paradox of choice. You have so many choices, you don't make any choice. They did a study on selling jams in the supermarket. When there's so many flavored jams, people don't choose any of them. But if you give them three choices, they're much more likely to buy. So, that's just what we're left with right now. But we're tech professionals. That's the overriding objective. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Before you go, I just want to let you know about Team Treehouse. It's where I'm learning JavaScript right now. They'll take you from beginner level all the way to professional from HTML, CSS, and then on to JavaScript if you want, or Python, PHE, PHP. They've got pretty much everything here, man. Look at this, C-sharp, Android, iOS. Um, I actually built an iPhone app with the help of Team Treehouse. I'm currently doing their full stack JavaScript track. So uh, for $25 per month, you get all of those tracks on there. So uh, go have a look, see what you think. They've got tech degrees as well, which I think is a good alternative to a boot camp. If you don't want to spend a whole heap of money on a boot camp, have a look at the tech degree. There's a free trial, so you've nothing to lose by trying it out. I've left my affiliate link in the video description below. So please, if you're going to sign up, use my link. It helps to support what I'm doing here on YouTube. I'm documenting my learning journey over on my website. I'll leave that link in the video description as well. This goes all the way back to 2015. There are gaps where I was just so busy I wasn't coming back to doc document it, but I, I will be from now on. I've made a promise to myself. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and thanks for supporting what I do. Catch you on the next one. Peace.